Welcome to the Monday morning open. I wasn't actually going to make a video today, but things are just so interesting. I decided I had to make a really quick one here. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, some of the miners. I'm also going to follow up on Palantir here because that was very interesting today leading into the earnings coming up this afternoon. So take a look at Bitcoin. First of all, over the weekend, we did some nice moves. Uh, we went up, what, 1.5% on Saturday and 0.19% on Sunday. This morning, we actually opened up pretty big at 60 5,500 just beneath the 50 day SMA. And we are currently hovering at 64,000 just above that. This looks a bit like a bull flag, like it wants to go back up to this 50 SMA and potentially get over it. That would be really great. That 50 SMA is really something that's going to be holding us back here. You can see that we used it as resistance back here on April 22nd and 23rd. It came off of it pretty, pretty hard. Now we're coming up to test it one more time. Will the second time be the time? that we break that 50 SMA or will we need to come down one more time and test it for a third time before we finally do break that 50 day SMA. But once we break above that 50 day SMA, we just have a little bit of resistance up at around 66,000. And then we're looking at trying to run for $70,000 again from there. So as soon as we get above that 50 day SMA, we are going to be seeing some pretty nice moves on Bitcoin, in my opinion. Uh, let's take a look at CleanSpark. CleanSpark is up 10% today. We're at $17.77. Can we conquer the $18 mark today on CleanSpark and see it finally get back above that? It's been, I don't know, when was the last time? Uh, it was April 29th, so it really wasn't really too long ago, but can we conquer it and finally hold above it for more than a couple of days? Hopefully that's what comes here in this next move on CleanSpark. That would be, that would be just great. I love that we came off this hammer candle at the bottom then two nice days. Uh, following. Anyway, this today is just doing really, really good. Uh, Mara, I think, is also doing exceptional today. 12.5%. We're coming right up on that most traded zone here at $19.80 ish cents here. We're coming right up on it again. Can we break through it? Let's see where the SMA lies. There's a 50 SMA just above it. So I feel like we could wick up to it and then get rejected again. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what Mara can manage to do that or not. Let's take a look at Riot. Riot is up 4% today. Oh, no, 6% today now. Uh, not as strong as some of the others. We are coming up again on that 50 SMA. That thing's going to be holding us back for a while on quite a few things here. We go, we need to hit that resistance and beat that resistance. It has, at least on Riot, it's been holding us back. Uh, the 50, anyways, has been holding us back since, since we tested it back on March 28th. And then again on April 24th, when we also tested the 200 day, uh, we are going to test the 50 day. Again, this will be the third time since we came below it here that we test it. Are we going to break through it this time and then go back up to the 200 around 1239, where we also need to break through that? That's going to be a pretty strong resistance on Riot as well before we can see prices uh, at the $13 and above level on Riot. Take a look at Bit Digital. Again, right on the 50, right on the 50 SMA. This is a crucial point where we are either going to reject off of it or or tear right through it and go on to the next SMA up above. And on Bit Digital, if we go above that 50 SMA, which is at currently $2.33, we will be going up to $2.68. If we fail, we'll find support down at the 20 at $2.11 on Bit Digital right now. F Farms. Bit Farms is up 7.69% this morning. Nice big candles coming in. We are above the 200, the 20, and the five-day SMA on Bit Farms. The only thing above us on BitFarms is the 50 SMA up at $2.25. We have very, very strong support right below us at $1.90. So we got a 6% downside looking at a potential uh, upside of $0.29 cents in relation to that. So we're actually sitting in a pretty nice spot in terms of risk to reward on BitFarms right now. I actually really like the way that looks. Uh, we got that strong support at $1.90 and resistance is all the way up at 225 in terms of the SMAs. Now, of course, we still need to get above this these, this um, price action behind us, which is going to represent some amount of resistance around that $2 mark. That's going to be a big psychological mark that we need to break up and above. But once we do that, there's nothing in the way uh, until we get to the 50 SMA at $2.24.25 there. So that was really fun chart to look at right now. Let's take a look at the warrants. The warrants were very interesting. Cypher warrants. So I'm doing really well on these right now, actually. Uh, we're at $1.25. I got in my average price is 90 cents for all the buys I did on this day here, which was May 1st. Uh, we're looking at May 6th now. So in five days, I'm up a few hundred dollars now on uh, the position I have taken. I'm planning to get closer to about, you know, maybe six, 700 bucks up 
before I sell this thing. I am planning to sell it at one. Uh, my buy, my sell order is at one dollar fifty three cents, which is right here. You can see it goes through this this wick here. It's right at right near the top of this body here on March twenty eighth, and at the very top of this wick here on February fifteenth. I didn't pick it at random. This, I looked at the chart and I said this looks like an area it is likely to come to. Now it could go much higher than that, but I don't want to miss out on my gains, so I set my sell order at one dollar fifty three cents. So I picked it up. My average is ninety cents. Picked up something like a thousand, uh, and I will be looking to sell at um, one fifty three, which would be about six hundred and thirty dollars of profit off of this thing when it finally closes up here. Now, hopefully in the next couple of days here, especially with this price action that we've been seeing. So that's it. That's the miners. They're doing super, super well today. Look at these warrants. They're up 13.63% today. That's just absolutely amazing considering that Bitcoin is only up 0.05% today. Now we're going to look at two more things. Actually, I'm going to look at MicroStrategy. Just to show what's going on there. It's up 8.5%. If you remember this down day where where we were down 17%. If you bought on that dip on that inverse hammer candle, man, you are doing exceptionally well. You are up uh, 30% <laughs> since if you bought at the bottom of this hammer candle, you're up 30% today. Uh, we are currently hanging out between the 20 and the 50 SMA. So that is a dangerous spot to be. There's a lot of resistance in here. We might get stuck in here for a little while between uh, 1389 and 1300 here for you know, a couple of days, we do need to decisively break above that to really see it move up. But right now we see the miners are actually, some of them are up a little more than MicroStrategy today. One last thing before I look at, at Palantir is Block. Let's take a look at Block. Block is actually up today as well, 2.38%. We had that big earnings came in, had this massive candle that ended up negative. I'm pretty sure that was insider selling. Uh, I am still watching for it to kind of follow this line here. I want to see it follow this line to the top of the channel, come back to the center of the channel. And from that center of the channel, I want to see it blast off and out of this channel and up above $72.81. Remember, I'm really not super interested in this particular stock until it gets up and above this $72.81 level. I really want to see it get out of this descending channel and above this yellow line here before I'm getting super, super interested. So for now, I'm just kind of watching it. Remember like what I was doing with ARM before, before I started uh, trading ARM, I was watching it for a really long time. Uh, and sometimes that's just what it takes. You just have to watch things for a while until you get that opportune moment to tells you decisively where it wants to go. And then you start uh, deploying capital at that point in time and only at that point in time, not before. Uh, now, Palantir. Palantir is doing amazing. Man, I'm almost at my, um, I'm so close. I'd actually got in the money for a short period of time today uh, on my covered calls for my Palantir. Uh, with earnings coming after hours today, that is a good omen. Or will it be a sell the news event? I don't know, but it is looking like I very well may be losing 100 shares of my Palantir today uh, or tomorrow. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's going to be all right. I still have a few hundred shares uh, that I can play with, and I will probably set another covered call option. I'm looking at maybe about $20, $27 maybe is where I'll do next week once earnings is over and I see the price move up and down a little bit on that. So we are still in this ascending channel. We might break out of it with earnings today because if earnings are good, we're, we're going to get a pretty significant gap up and that's going to be pretty great actually for a lot of things here. And I'll be selling, yeah, I'll be selling. I want to see where it's going to go obviously before I sell any covered calls, but I'm looking at about 27 now. If it beats 27 now, I'll be looking around 30 if it goes over 27 in after hours after the uh, earnings come out. So that's it. That's the update for today. It is kind of an amazing, wonderful Monday morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And with that said, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a profitable day.